Okay, today we will see a uh, question frequently asked on ban written exam. We will start from uh, the first question. Uh, the first question says that uh, a dog, a dog uh, a are running at the speed of this alongside of a railway a track, uh, in meter of 240 head of engine of uh, 120 meters uh, long train running at speed of uh, this 45 km per hour in the same direction how many time will the train pass the Jaguar so uh, we will start uh, what we have given here the speed of the Jaguar let us say dg equal to 9 km per hour and therefore distance uh, this distance of distance covered by the Jaguar is 240 meter and the speed of a uh, train is uh, 45 km per hour this is speed is 5 times the speed of the Jaguar because train is more uh, faster than Jaguar so uh, the distance of the train is uh, 120 meters we are asked to calculate the time uh, uh, time of uh, the train to pass the Jaguar so uh, when we go to a solution uh, the first thing we have to do is here we have to uh, to uh, the we to get the uh the uh, to get the time uh, of train past the jaguar we have to find first the relative is speed uh, of a uh, jaguar in the train let us uh, to get the relative speed of a uh, train to jaguar is 45 minus 9 is equal to 36 kilometer per hour so this is a relative speed of train uh, to jaguar, uh, jaguar. So uh, we have to convert uh, this uh, 36 kilometer per hour to meter per second because the distance we have here is in meters. So we have to change both of them to the same units. So to have to convert 36 kilometer per hour to uh, meter per second. To convert this, we have to uh, so we know one kilometer is uh, 1,000 meters. So 36 meters become to uh, 36,000 uh, meters over and one hour is uh, one hour is uh, 60 in it and uh, uh, one hour have 300 uh, 3600 seconds because uh, 60 uh, times 60 is equal to uh, 3600 uh, 3, so when we uh, simplify this we have to cancel this by this and when we divide 360 by 36 we get that 10 meter per second so this is relative speed of uh, train to jaguar so so the distance the total distance they cover is uh, let us sum the uh, distance covered by jaguar in the uh, train so we have to get 300, uh, 360 meters then uh, to get the time it is simple to simple after this because time is equal to uh, distance over speed of the relative speed of or total uh, speed or relative speed of a jaguar in the train so time is equal to total distance over speed so when we uh, total speed is this or so 360 divided by 10 is equal to 36 uh, seconds so this is the answer from the alternative c is the correct answer
so let us move to the next question uh, the next question says that um, uh, a uh, lent uh, five thousand to b so a is uh, the lender and uh, b is the borrower for two years and uh, uh, this uh, this two c and uh, again a uh, lent uh, three thousand to c for four years on simple interest simple interest at the same rate of interest so uh, a lent for both b and c uh, with the same interest with uh, for uh, b for two years uh, five thousand and the three thousand for C for four years. So I received this amount of bird. So uh, received this amount of and he received a received two uh, two thousand two hundred in all from both of the interest this is the interest of the interest a gate from uh, both a uh, b and uh, c from both uh, as interest the rate of interest per annum is dash so we are asked to calculate the interest of uh, this both since the the interest of uh, for both a and b uh, for both B and C are the same it is simple to find the simple interest so let us uh, we have given that simple interest of B is uh, 500 uh, RS with a time of two years uh, that time of uh, we are, uh, we are uh, or given length is for two years and the four B simple interest of uh, C is uh, five thousand three thousand with a time of four years, uh, and uh, total simple interest is given as uh, two thousand two hundred, and we are asked to find the interest rate of this both since they have the same interest rate. It is simple to find. So as we know, a uh, simple interest is uh, calculated. Uh, as a simple interest is equal to a simple interest is equal to PRT 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 means P is principal R is simple interest we have time a period and thus uh, this also given as total so total simple interest is equal to for both simple interests of uh, simple interest so here we are sorry here uh, we are uh, this is P let us say this P not simple interest P well as we now simple interest of uh, for both uh, B and C is equal to simple interest of B plus simple interest of C so to calculate this uh, as we know simple interest is calculated as you say before principal times uh, interest rate times time period so simple interest of uh, uh, B is uh, simply inter to calculate simple interest of B we have principal uh, 5000 we are substitute here and uh, we have two years uh, so 2 RR is uh, uh, what we uh, required for so and uh, for C, C principles uh, as we know a simple interest uh, is calculated parity here we have P three thousands and uh, we have uh, four years so time is four so r is uh, 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 we have what we find for this so two uh, as we know as total simple interest is given for us two thousand two hundred is equal to uh, uh, five thousand times two which is equal to uh, ten thousand r plus uh, and again uh, three uh, thousand times four which is equal to uh, 
to 12,000 uh, R. So when we sum this together, we get that uh, 2,000 is equal to 2,200 is equal to 22,000 R. So we have to divide both sides to get R. We have to divide both sides by 22,000. So we get that uh, 10 uh, percent or uh, 0 0.0. 1 0.1 because we can uh, cancel by 0 by 0 and uh, when we divide 22 by 220 we get that 10 percent so the correct answer is c for from this alternative this is all about if you have any question you can uh, write your question and the comment of the video or we can uh, Join us our Telegram channel, Ito or Mathis. Uh, Ito Mathis. You can, you can join this Telegram channel and uh, you can ask me any question or you can send your question by uh, screenshot or uh, uh, by capturing photo uh, with attachments. So uh, let us move to the next question. Uh, the next question uh, you have to uh, share this video for others and uh, you also subscribe if you have any comment any question you can write your question and the comment of the video and you can also join our telegram channel ito maths and you can attach by capturing photo or your question especially if you have a question related to maths you can send for me ito math this is our telegram you can screenshot your question and uh, attach with photo in the screenshot on this telegram channel let us move to next question some purchase this is uh, the name of the person some purchased uh, 20 dozen of uh, toys toys that's at uh, at simple at rates of uh, uh, this per dozen so the rates of per dozen he sold each one of them at rates of this so this is uh, uh, the what he sell or uh, the sell price cost so what is the percentage of the profit we are asked to calculate the percentage of the profit as we as as we now one doesn't mean 20 uh, 12 piece so so you have to understand first this because one doesn't have uh, uh, 20 uh, 12 uh, pieces so 12 pieces so 20 doesn't have how much uh, piece to have 240 pieces uh, and the cost price of one dozen is uh, from given the the price of uh, one dozen is uh, three dozen is three uh, hundred seventy five per dozen so one of course we have we have uh, uh, we have given that the cost price of one dozen is three hundred seventy five rs and the, uh, the cost price of one uh, piece is to uh, uh, from given since as we say before one does not have 12 pieces we uh, can divide to get the price of one piece we have to divide 375 by 12 because one does not have 12 uh, pieces so the, this is the price of one a piece of toy so selling price of one piece is 33 so uh, as we as, as we given here the price of one uh, piece is uh, 33 this is selling price this is cost price cost price so cost price this is cost price and this is selling price selling price so we have to uh, we have to to get uh, to get sell uh, as we know to uh, when we calculating uh, sales price 
is equal to cost price plus uh, cost price it's it is what uh, he the profit he get uh, after selling the uh, the piece of uh, toy so uh, we have given that the price of one piece is 33 which is equal to the cost price of uh, one piece is uh, uh, 31.25 plus and uh, to get uh, the profit we have to multiply the cost price by the interest rates so uh, not interest rates the percentage of profit so uh, Subtract uh, from 33, 31.25. So when we subtract, we get that 1.75 divided both sides by uh, 31.25. We have R, uh, get R equal to 0 0.056. When we convert to uh, percentage, we get that 5.6%. So our answer will be. For this question, uh, C is the correct alternative from a given uh, letter, so C is the answer. This is all about for this question. If you have any question suggestion, you can write your question under comment of this video or you can join uh, our telegram and uh, you can send for us uh, any question. Uh, question related to a uh, bank especially uh, matters related question are uh, very uh, special for me you can touch us uh, by photo or by screenshot or by any uh, typing uh, question let us move to the next question uh, we have uh, here here we have to that two uh, tailors X and Y are paid a total of RS550 per week by the employers. So this is the salary uh, per week by their employer total for both X and Y. If X is paid 100, 120% of the sum paid to Y. How much Y paid per uh, week? So we are asked to calculate uh, the payment uh, paid for Y per week. So this is solution. Total payment where we, uh, we uh, they get per week is 550. This is what we given uh, here. And uh, X is paid 120% of the sum paid to y this means uh, x is equal to uh, 120 percent of y so uh, here uh, 120 percent means 1.2 when we change to decimal so uh, x plus y is equal to uh, per week is 550 then uh, we, uh, uh, here we have x is uh, 1.2y so we can uh, substitute uh, 1.2y here uh, in, in place of x so you can substitute here when we uh, substitute we get that 1.2y plus y is equal to 550 so when we uh, add this we get that 2.2y y equal to 550 so when we divide this by uh, 2.2 uh, we get that y is equal to, uh, to 250 so the answer uh, will be b. b is the answer for this question so this is um, our uh, answer so let us move to the next question before moving uh, to the next question if you have any uh, question related to uh, maths or aptitude or unwritten exam you can uh, send for me uh, 
on this channel we have here telegram channel to maths this is my telegram channel you can send me a question related to maths or uh, bank question bank written question you can send for us on this telegram channel by screenshot or by photo or by typing so this is all about let us move to next question again the average weight of uh, 60 boys in a class is this and the that of remaining eight boys is uh, this file is the average weight of all boys in the class all boys let us move to solution let the total number of uh, the, total, the total number of first average is t1 in the for the second t2 so this is to give the total of uh, the total number what uh, the total weight of uh, 60 boys in the to get the total weight of eight student so and let a will be the first average and for the second a2 so this is already given a1 is equal to a total weight of a 60 student over 60 so this is given uh, a1 is given of the average is given already here so uh, we to get uh, by using criss cross formula one is equal to 804 and uh, t2 is equal to average of uh, uh, the remaining eight student times uh, the number of boy so t2 is equal to uh, 361.2 uh, we are asked to, to find the average total weight of a uh, total weight all of boy in the class the average of total weight so we have to first add this in the uh, this then divide by the number of students here is uh, a, a 60 plus 8 which is equal to uh, 24 so average of uh, all boys uh, is equal to total weight of all students over total number of students in the class so uh, here we have uh, to, to give the total number we have to Add this and this together we get this and uh, all the total number of students in the class is 60 plus 8 which is equal to 24 we get that finally when we divide this by 24 we get that 48.55 so the b is the c is the correct answer for this question if you have any question you can write your question under comment of the video for additional question you can join my telegram channel it matters and uh, you can send any question uh, related to mathematics or uh, bank written exam question send for me by this telegram channel or you can also write your comment under comment of this video like my video and share for your friends if you have any comment you can write again and subscribe write your question under comment of the video and uh, uh, you can also join uh, my telegram channel it matters for any uh, question you have a uh, question related to maths or written exam let us move to the next question the notebook where distribute equally among children of a class the number of notebook each child got was one eighth of the number of the children had the number of children been uh, half each children would have got 60 notebooks. the total total how many notebook were distributed so this is very simple question from a given let us the, ch the children uh, let b c and uh, not b n. let and again we have uh, from a given we have given that uh, when the children have each children 
have got 60 notebook so uh, 1 over 2 half of the children c is equal to 60 notebook let n is notebook so uh, c is equal to 32n from the given by using here we have one when we uh, cross cross which is a c is equal to 32 so uh, again from a given one children have a 60 notebook notebook so from here one c is equal to 60 notebooks so what is uh, this total of uh, uh, 32 c is uh, x what we find for this x so by using crisscross c is equal to uh, when we multiply 32 by 16 we get that 512 so the answer is 112 so c is the correct answer for this question if you have any question you can leave your question under comment of the video let us move to uh, the next question this is a repeated question sorry a logarithm uh, Sometimes uh, logarithm is asked on bank written exam. So let us, uh, this is a uh, 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 question asked on uh, one of the bank question. If log uh, 9 over 60 uh, x is equal to minus 1 over 2, then the value of x is plus. So to do uh, this uh, logarithm, First, let us uh, log 9 over 60 means we can uh, uh, change this to uh, uh, explanation, a simple expression. So, uh, by using a uh, crisscross uh, to change to uh, ex uh, exponent, we have to um, bring this here and we have to put this here. Then uh, this means x is a power of 1 over 2 means x over square root of uh, x. This is the same as this, so equal to 9 over uh, 16. Then uh, by using again crisscross, you can get that uh, 9 times square root of x means uh, 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 x is equal to 60. So divide uh, both sides by 9 we get that x is equal to 60 uh, over 9 to leave x as it is we can divide this by 1 over 2 or, or squared on this so we get uh, uh, sorry we multiply uh, both by uh, square root of 2 square root of 2 we get that x is equal to 60 times 60 which is equal to 256 over 81 9 times 9 81 this is the answer for this question x is uh, 256 over 81 so this is uh, the answer for this question if you have any question suggestion you can leave under comment of this video uh, it, Thank you for watching, subscribe my channel, like, share, comment, and you can uh, leave your question and a comment of the video. Additionally, you can, uh, for additional question, you can join my telegram channel, Ito Maths. This is all about uh, today. If you have uh, the additional question, you can attach uh, your question under uh, uh, telegram channel it will matter so the uh, for today thank you uh, for watching me don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much have a nice day